When you think of the word battery, you probably imagine a simple rectangle that stores energy. But for Elon Musk and his engineers, the battery has never been just a component. It's the heartbeat, the brain, the soul of every Tesla. And now, that soul is about to be reborn. Because in 2026, the world isn't just getting another Tesla. It's getting the dawn of a new energy era. The Tesla Super Aluminum Ion Battery. A technology that Elon himself once hinted at years ago when he said, I think batteries are just going to be a massive thing. No one realized how massive until now. Welcome to Torque Element, where we take you deep into the heart of the machines that are shaping our future. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and help Torque Element reach 2,000 subscribers. Because what we're about to reveal today might change the way you think about cars, energy, and the world's entire relationship with power. Now let's go back for a moment. Lithium ion, the chemistry that made Tesla a household name, was a miracle of its time. It powered everything from phones to rockets. But it had limits. It was heavy. It was expensive. And it degraded faster than Elon's patience with production delays. Engineers have been chasing the next evolution for decades. Solid-state batteries, sodium ion, graphene, all promised the world, yet none truly delivered. Until aluminum ion arrived. But here's the twist. Aluminum ion isn't new. Researchers at Stanford and Queensland were experimenting with it almost a decade ago. The idea was simple. Replace lithium with aluminum, a metal that's abundant, cheap, and infinitely recyclable. The problem was, aluminum ions move differently. They're bigger, heavier, harder to manage. Early attempts produced fast charging but terrible capacity. So, for years the technology sat in the shadows. Until Tesla decided to rewrite the rules. Inside Giga Texas, teams of chemists, software engineers, and robotics experts quietly built what insiders called Project Helios, named after the Greek god of the sun. The goal? To create a battery that charges in minutes, lasts for decades, and costs less than a used iPhone. Sounds impossible, right? But if there's one thing Tesla does best, it's turning the impossible into production. The key breakthrough came from something Tesla calls CPMI, Cross-Platform Module Interface. In plain language, it's a universal battery skeleton that can slide into almost any Tesla made after 2021. Think of it like swapping the heart of your car without replacing the body. Most automakers design their batteries as fixed, structural pieces, built into the chassis, impossible to change. Tesla just made theirs modular. So if you're driving a Model Y or Model 3 built after 2021, your next big upgrade might not be a new car. It might just be a new heartbeat. Imagine walking into a Tesla service center in 2026. Instead of trading your car for a newer one, you pay around $5,000, and they slide out your old lithium pack and drop in the aluminum ion one. Suddenly your car goes from 300 miles of range to nearly a thousand. Charging time? From an hour down to five minutes. Cost? A fraction of what it used to be. It's like turning your five-year-old smartphone into the latest flagship overnight. Now why would Tesla even allow that? Why cannibalize their own sales by making old cars better? Because Tesla doesn't just sell cars, they sell an ecosystem. A long-term vision where vehicles evolve like software, not hardware. A Model Y from 2021 could still be relevant in 2031. Instead of building new cars, Tesla builds loyalty, and loyalty pays forever. Inside the new aluminum ion pack, the engineering is mind-blowing. Each cell operates around 20 volts, compared to the traditional 3.8 volts of lithium. That's more than five times the punch per cell. If any other company tried this, their electronics would fry instantly. But Tesla developed a multi-chemistry management system, a kind of electronic translator that lets old hardware understand new chemistry. Through an over-the-air firmware update, your car learns how to think in aluminum ion. It's like teaching an old brain a new language overnight. Cooling such powerful cells is another engineering ballet. Aluminum ion generates intense heat during rapid charge cycles. But instead of traditional cooling plates, Tesla designed liquid microchannels under every module, a network of thermal veins that move heat as smoothly as blood through an artery. Each channel is tuned to maintain a precise balance, below 113 degrees Fahrenheit, even during ultra-fast charging. That's six times faster than today's superchargers. You could literally plug in, grab a coffee, and before your cup cools, your car's ready for a thousand-mile journey. For those of us old enough to remember when charging an electric car overnight felt futuristic, this is a full-circle moment. The speed, the simplicity, the efficiency, it's everything EVs promised but never fully delivered. And what's even more fascinating is how Tesla engineered it to be safe enough for your garage. 
These new packs are so thermally stable that even direct punctures or external fires won't trigger runaway reactions. The cooling sled isolates each module, preventing chain reactions. So, when Tesla says six times faster charging is safe, they mean it. And here's where the economics start to flip. Analysts estimate that a 60 kilowatt hour aluminum ion pack, enough for about a thousand miles, will cost $5,000 installed. Let that sink in. $5,000 for what used to cost $30,000 or more in new vehicle upgrades. The financial math becomes irresistible. Why buy a new Tesla Model 2 for $30,000 when you can upgrade your current one for a fraction of that price? This creates what economists call a retrofit revolution. A shift where upgradability replaces disposability. Cars that last decades, updated through software and hardware alike. Think about your old Model 3. In the world before aluminum ion, you'd eventually sell it, buy a new one, and repeat. But in this new world, Tesla keeps you in their ecosystem, generating billions through upgrades, maintenance, and subscriptions, without building new factories or shipping new cars across oceans. But the question remains, will Tesla actually do it? Will they let you retrofit your old car? The rumor mill says yes, but not for everyone. Based on leaked internal documents, Tesla plans to offer retrofits for cars built 2020 and newer. Older ones might be left behind, mainly because of physical differences in their chassis and cooling mounts. The retrofit program would include strict safety inspections, limited slots, and an 8-year warranty on new packs. It's not charity, it's strategy. They'll sell new Model 2s first, make their profits, and then open retrofits for loyal owners who stuck with Tesla through thick and thin. And let's be honest, that loyalty runs deep. Tesla fans aren't just customers. They're believers. People who saw Elon's dream when the world laughed at electric cars. People who waited through production delays, early software bugs, even the infamous panel gaps. For those people, this aluminum ion retrofit feels like a thank you note from the future. But there's another side to this story, a bigger, national question. What happens when millions of these ultra-fast charging cars hit the grid? The United States power infrastructure already groans under summer heat waves and winter storms. Texas alone, under the Electric Reliability Council, had to issue multiple conservation alerts in 2023 just to keep the lights on. On June 23rd of that year, temperatures soared past 110 degrees Fahrenheit, pushing electricity use to a record 85 gigawatts. One year later that record was broken again. So if millions of Teslas start drawing five times more power for charging, doesn't that spell disaster? Tesla's answer is surprisingly simple. Don't take power when everyone else needs it. The new supercharger generation, version 54 and beyond, will include built-in megapacks. Each megapack stores around 4 megawatt hours of energy and can discharge at over 1.5 megawatts continuously. These are massive batteries sitting beside your charger, filling themselves overnight when the grid is quiet and electricity is cheap. So when you plug in for your 5-minute top-up, you're not pulling from the live grid. You're drawing from Tesla's stored energy, a silent buffer that stabilizes the system instead of breaking it. At home it's even smarter. More than 80% of EV charging happens in garages or driveways, mostly overnight. The average American drives about 40 miles per day, which translates to roughly 10 kilowatt hours of electricity, easily handled by a standard 240 volt level 2 charger. Tesla's aluminum ion chemistry is so efficient that most people will never need to use full speed charging daily. And with time of use software, your car automatically waits until 2 in the morning when rates are lowest to begin recharging. It's quiet, invisible, and effortless. Now, imagine a storm hits and your city loses power. In the old world, you'd be lighting candles and rationing batteries. In the new world, your Tesla Model 2 becomes your generator. A single 80 kilowatt hour aluminum ion pack can power a typical home, lights, refrigerator, Wi-Fi, and even air conditioning for almost three full days. If a million Tesla owners join the vehicle to grid program, they collectively hold 80 gigawatt hours of backup energy. That's equivalent to the output of 50 coal plants. Instead of millions of cars draining the grid, they become a decentralized army of micro power stations, feeding energy back during peak hours and recharging when the grid rests. California and Texas utilities are already testing this idea in real neighborhoods. So the next time your neighbor complains about EVs breaking the grid, tell them. No, EVs might actually be the ones saving it. And this is where Elon Musk's true genius shows. Tesla isn't just building cars. They're building an energy empire. Solar panels on rooftops, power walls in garages, megapacks in cities, and now aluminum ion batteries in cars. Every one of these connects through the same digital nervous system, Tesla software. This isn't about selling hardware. It's about controlling the flow of energy itself. Imagine a world where your car, your house, and your workplace all share electricity intelligently, cutting waste and slashing bills without you lifting a finger. That's the future Tesla wants. But make no mistake, competition is watching. Ford, General Motors, Rivian, and even Chinese giants like BYD are scrambling to respond. They see what aluminum ion means. A world where charging anxiety disappears, where batteries last 30 years instead of 10, where EVs cost less than gas cars. 
For oil companies that's terrifying. Because the last pillar holding fossil fuels upright is convenience. The 5 minute refuel. When Tesla matches that the game's over. There will be skeptics of course. Some will call it hype. Others will doubt aluminum ion's durability, or claim it's unsafe, or say it's too good to be true. But the same was said about every Tesla milestone, the Roadster, the Gigafactory, Autopilot, reusable rockets. Each time the world laughed, until it didn't. And each time, those who believed early were the ones who shaped the future. Now picture this, it's 2026. You walk up to your Tesla Model 2, parked in your driveway. Its body glows faintly in the morning sun, built lighter thanks to advanced alloys that complement its aluminum ion heart. You tap the handle, the door slides open silently and inside the car wakes, ready, full and waiting. You plug it in the night before but it only took 5 minutes to recharge. No gas stations. No fumes. No noise. Just pure silent power. As you drive, your dashboard gently glows with the words 1000 miles remaining. No anxiety. No rush. Just freedom. The kind we used to dream about when EVs were new. You glance at the world outside. The highways, the homes, the cities. And realize that every light, every hum, every heartbeat of civilization might soon be powered by the same quiet force beneath your feet. That's what Elon meant when he said batteries will be massive. He wasn't talking about size. He was talking about impact, the kind that changes history. Aluminum ion isn't just a new battery, it's the bridge between generations. For those of us who grew up tuning carburetors and smelling gasoline on our hands, this might feel like the end of an era. But it's not. It's the beginning of a better one. So, when someone asks if this is the battery that will end lithium, tell them no. It's the battery that will begin something far greater. A world where cars evolve, where energy flows like water, and where innovation no longer means replacement, it means renewal. And that's what makes this story worth telling. Not just for the tech, not just for the numbers, but for what it represents, progress with purpose. Because one day soon, when your old Tesla wakes up with a new aluminum heart, you'll remember this moment. You'll remember where you heard it first. Right here on Torque Element. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help Torque Element reach 2000 subscribers. Because what's coming next isn't just about Tesla. It's about the revolution of everything we thought we knew about motion, energy and time itself. Stay curious, stay driven and as always, keep your hands on the wheel of the future.